This is how to make tables in Google Sheets. It is pretty straightforward. It's going to let you organize your data and visualize it a little bit more easily. And we're going to walk through some filtering methods so that you can actually manipulate it and see some different information a lot more easily, especially when you have a large data set. What else should I talk about here? And today I've found a data set that is over here. In our screen, let me pull it up. This is a bunch of movie data. So I like movies. I found a data set that's got 4,800 rows of movie data in here. We've got genres, home pages, IDs, language, title, popularity scores, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff on movies. The first thing we want to do, if you come up here to your toolbar, and I've got this zoomed in a bunch, so all these options may be on your screen, but if, if they're not and you're like mine, click this more button right here, the little three dots, and then in here you'll see the fill color. And at the bottom of this list, we've got alternating colors. Now it's smart enough to know, I was just in this, my active cell was just in A1. It's smart enough to see, hey, do you want to apply this to this whole range? If it doesn't select the right uh, range, you can manually type it in, or you can click this button and then go drag a selection in your data set. We've got the right uh, range, and then we can change the color right here. We can you know, have this little green color. We can modify it further down here by selecting an even darker green color for that header, whatever we want, and then click Done. Now, out of the gate, I see that I've created such a dark color, I cannot read this text. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to go to the font color and just select a white color so that's legible. Now, um, staying up here, let us now create a filter. This button right here creates a filter, and same thing, it's smart enough to know that I probably want that filter on the header columns in that, or on the header rows. Uh, in this row one. So budget, genre, homepage. See this little triangular type of symbol that we've got? This is now a filter to where we can filter anything below it. So uh, let's go over to one of these number things. We've got a popularity rating. I don't know what this is based on, but let's sort it A to Z. Actually, let's sort it Z to A. That'll give us the most popular down to the least popular. Uh, I have trouble believing that Minions and Interstellar are the most popular movies in this list of 4,800 movies, but hey, there they are. Whatever rating that is based on, they're at the top of it, followed by Deadpool. Okay. Additionally, let's take another column that's got numbers in it. Uh, we've got Runtime. Well, let's say I want to find all of the movies that are between certain runtimes. In our filter menu, I can click filter by condition. And in this little drop down menu, we've got a bunch of different options. We can see if it contains text or not, if it's a date, a certain date before or after something. And then here are some number tests we can do. And, and I've got one right here that says is between. So I don't know, let's say uh, 90 minutes and 180 minutes, reasonable movie lengths. And then go down here and click OK. And now I can go one further and sort it Z to A, so I can start with the 180s, the highest in that range that I defined, and sort it all the way down to these 90-minute movies. So that's the long and short of it. This is how you make a table in Google Sheets right out of the gate just with applying the alternating color formatting. It's a lot more legible as we read across and down. We can keep things visually on the same line that we're examining the data. We can further go in and do filters to filter out and to arrange the data the way that we need to look at it. Hope this is helpful for you. If it was, please click that thumb button for a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe on the YouTube channel. I appreciate it. You're awesome. Bye.